Zoe was Catwoman and now her mask was giving me very much homemade burglar. Like she went and bought a full scully and then cut the holes out herself and was like, you know what? I don't, I don't, you know, I need a place for my mouth. And she was like, well, just cut all this off. And then I, you're just gonna have like this. Like she had a mask mustache. I didn't like it, it looks stupid. I understand that this movie was called The Batman, okay? He is the main star. But do I feel like we could have had a lot more of Catwoman? Yes, I didn't need her in there just to drive the point home. She, she the movie could have been made without her, okay? So if we're gonna have her in here, let's do it for real. Now, when she was on screen, um, she was captivating. I was tuned in every time. And when she, they had her kicking butt, she was kicking butt, okay? All of the action scenes were great. So I love that part. Initially, didn't think Robert Pattinson was gonna be able to pull it off as far as being Batman or as far as just giving me, you know, what I needed from him acting. I'd only ever seen him in Twilight. Robert, I'm sorry for doubting you. You did actually, you actually did a good job, okay? You were giving me sad, giving me emotional, you gave me spoiled rich brat, you gave me angry. I loved all of it, okay? So I'm sorry for doubting you. Now, this is not necessarily an origin story like I thought it was going to be. We just, hey, okay. I don't need another origin story. It is an origin though, kind of like a changing for him. Um, and so I like that. You don't really, you know, you, you're not really seeing that like as it's happening but at the end you're kind of like oh okay i see what we're doing there i see where we're getting now i was loving the vibe of this whole movie I felt like the vibe that reminiscence with hugh jackman was trying to give us but that they failed miserably at um so this right here it was just like yes i'm here for it it's gritty it's dirty i don't want to go there because i feel like somebody's gonna knock me out like i, I loved every bit of it <laughs> <laughs> also like the fact that they really only focused on one true blue villain um a lot of times batman movies superhero movies they get caught up in pulling people from everywhere they're like there's just too much source material so we focus on the villain i feel like it's a great villain i feel like riddler is amazing um and i feel i like the fact that he's not the joker because they love to pull on the joker um so look I was here for it. Do I feel like this is the most amazing? I feel like this is a good movie. I don't feel like it's the most amazing movie. I feel like we have kind of set the bar for superhero movies, but is it a better movie, a better DC movie that I've ever watched? Absolutely. It's a really good detective movie. And even if you took Batman out of it, it would still be a good detective movie. And I like that. It's not Sherlock. It's not Sherlock, okay? <laughs> but it is good. Um, so I definitely feel like it's something that even if you're a casual watcher, you can give it a watch. And I think you'll enjoy it. Um, yeah. And those are my thoughts.